A judge will decide if Douglas County's conservative majority school board broke state law. Progressive minority board members have accused the majority of meeting in secret to decide on the firing of Superintendent Corey Wise. That firing eventually happened at a public meeting. 9 News reporter Luis De Leon was in the courtroom today. Four of Doug Coe's school board directors testified in court today after conservative directors were accused of violating open meeting laws, stringing together small one-on-one -on -one meetings with each other. A Douglas County resident was the one to ultimately file that lawsuit. And again, if this practice is allowed to stand, well, there is no Colorado open meeting law anymore. Anyone could get around it and figure out how to get around it. Board Vice President Christy Williams says she thought two members meeting with the superintendent was allowed, a strategy the defense backed up by pointing out similar meetings on the superintendent's calendar back in 2020. Board President Mike Peterson also testified, saying directors never told Wise to resign, rather gave him options. A big question today was why directors did most of this over the phone rather than email. I did not think about uh, having to preserve a record, didn't see any issues with it at the time, and frankly it was purely out of, out of convenience not to circumvent anything. The only progressive minority director to testify today, Susan Meek, recorded one of those phone calls with Peterson, which was played in court today. Meek said she was concerned it could turn into a he said, she said situation. Peterson spoke to reporters following today's testimony. In, in clear hindsight, um, do I regret my vote to um, on February 4th? No. Um, in clear hindsight, would I have done some things differently sequentially? Probably yes. Still waiting on a ruling for this from the judge. No word on when that could come down. The suit asks the judge to ban discussion by, of public business by three or more board members, including through a series of gatherings by less than three members at a time. Meanwhile, Kyle, the school board is still working to quickly find a new superintendent. They'd make a potential contract offer in less than a month. Board President Mike Peterson told us today that around 18 applicants is uh, the amount they have to go through right now. So, Lisa, this idea of public officials meeting one-on-one -on -one or, or that kind of thing, it's called a walking quorum. There right. are some other states that have said that's not allowed against the law. Right, and so Board President Peterson, you know, he also made the argument that avoiding that quorum is not what the intention was. That's the whole point of the suit. We'll have to see how the judge rules there. All right, Luis, thank you.